Viva La Red Pill, and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you're at. This is Eblay the Desperate Houseboy, your MRA MGTOW red-pilled womanless connoisseur, back from Thanksgiving with a new womanless diet tip. Do not compromise. Now, this time, I'm going to do something a little different. Now, usually when I put out a new video, which if you watch and you've enjoyed it, normally you would give it a thumbs up. But this time, I'm going to do the opposite. This is going to be a vote thumbs down video. Because the reason for this is, I have a question that I want you to answer. Should women, married or not, be welcome in MGTOW? Simple question, huh? You've already heard it from all the other MGTOW brothers stating that women, whether they're single, married, or have kids, they have no business being in this philosophy. And heck, last year I did a video stating that women are not allowed in this philosophy or circle because what it's going to do, it's going to divide the community, it's going to cause friction, and the stuff that they hear, they won't quite understand perfectly. And it's only intended for men who are mature enough to understand and open their eyes about what's been going on and what's being done to them so at this point i want you to downvote this video if you choose to vote yes that means you want to divide the community you want to create friction it means that you want these men to simp you want the men to keep letting the women infiltrate this philosophy when it has nothing to do with them and cause trouble and cause mischief and resort to predatory behavior that should never be allowed in any movement. So if you vote yes, that means you're in support of bad behavior and you are not a MGTOW and you are not red pilled. On the other side, if you vote no, that means you have common sense, you care about the MGTOW philosophy and statement, you want to protect your brethren, you continue to support sovereignty amongst each other, you practice common sense, and you want to encourage cohesion among your brothers, as well as wisdom, self-preservation, and a little moral character, something that is missing in today's society. And also, you're encouraging those to think, speak, and choose for themselves. That's very important here in MGTOW. So remember, if you don't care about MGTOW and you want this community divided and you want friction and infighting, vote yes. But if you want to protect the community and respect its mission, the message, and also encourage all other men who aren't MGTOWs, especially the young ones who aren't red-pilled yet, vote no. Now it doesn't matter if you're a MGTOW, a womanless man, a red pillar, a humble hermit, a lone wolf, or a happy bachelor. If you care about the MGTOW community, please downvote this video to protect it. Don't compromise this philosophy or statement for a piece of the peace leave. Hat tip to Coach Greg Adams for that, by the way. That's your womanless diet tip for today. This is Eblay the Desperate Houseboy signing off. Enjoy the rest of your night, and remember to always save money, kill feminism, and go womanless, because that's how MGTOW saves. Stay red-pilled, and Godspeed.